Hi ladies. It's been a while since my last update. Um, yeah, I've just been busy with the girls and everything and um, being tired and exhausted sometimes from um, my breast disease or whatever, but um, for the most part I've been doing good and um, sorry I still have my webcam and um, I haven't replaced my camera yet but um, yeah I just wanted to get on and do an update although I really don't like using this webcam because I think the quality is not that great and I just hate how it freezes up and how it um there's a delay but um I still wanted to do an update so here I am um last cycle was a big fat negative um not really disappointed per se I wasn't really um uh, I was a little disappointed but not like hugely heartbroken um, it's the first it was the first try and everything and um, I just hope my breast issue doesn't um, hasn't um, made my you know hormones go out of whack and that everything is okay but I won't see a doctor or anything until I've given it a good try for a few months or whatever but um, if you're now like watching my videos for the first time I have something called granulomastitis mastitis and it's a, a rare um, breast um, disease it's there's no cure for it it just flares up and comes and goes and it has your fatigue and everything but I'm doing great and um, thankful that um, it's been it's been good for the most part you know I'm seeing um, I'm not feeling as tired as before and um, my breast doesn't really hurt as much as before hardly at all now so um, and I haven't had an abscess for a while so yeah breast that's the breast is doing really good Um still waiting for the first abscess to heal and everything and and um, um, that's my daughter getting out of bed the, the, the big the oldest one trying to sneak out of going night night <laughs> but yeah anyway I don't know if you heard her but she was um, talking to her dad anyways um so yeah I'm doing good um I don't remember what cycle day I am on right now because I am not doing fertility friend this cycle last cycle I was just um it was just too overwhelming and too stressful and I was um obsessing with my charts and other charts on fertility friend and so I was like I'm not gonna do that this cycle because I was like a crazy woman <laughs> but um yeah I'm still taking my temps and I'm still charting um like when I say charting just jotting down my temps on the log a log I have next to my bed and at the end of this cycle I'll still put them into fertility friend just to see just to compare the two charts from um, the previous months the, from last month to see you know what my body's doing and stuff um, just to make sure that it's um, you know that I'm ovulating or I have a you know a record that I can um, take to a doctor if I need to go and stuff but for the most part I'm good I'm positive and last cycle I um sorry last update I was telling you about my um cloth diapers so I got the material in um for 
almost three weeks now, a few weeks anyway. And so I've been making, well, I've made my daughter her diapers. And I'm just going to show you a few of them. This one is, this is one of them. And this one is a diaper cover slash um, all in two. And um, I made them with um, a pocket at the top and a pocket at the bottom. And they also have the snap. Just snap in an insert, and um, I use this type of diaper for nighttime or naps, and because um, I can put a stuff a extra soaker in there, and then I can snap one at the top, and I usually put a microfiber in the pocket, and then I snap a zorb on top, and that keeps her pretty dry all night, and. Um, so that's that and then this one also all in two and on the inside is just um, a, a stay dry fabric and with these shells I can usually usually like when I use them in the daytime or whatever I can usually reuse them even this one I can usually reuse them um, throughout the day for other nappy changes because this soaker just yeah, it's wet, and then I snap out one and snap in one, so it makes laundry pretty easy for me. And these are, I made her some transitional training pants for, for late in the daytime. And this is the first one I made. And um, I made this one as a all in, as, um, a all in two. And I made this soaker with, um, waterproof gussets and a waterproof backing and I've not made my soakers like this I just made one soaker like this because I find it takes longer to dry and um, she doesn't really need gussets but I was just trying it out especially the soakers for the next baby to see I don't know if I'll revisit this type of a soaker I might I have a a better um, design in mind. Well, I don't know if it'll be better, but I'll try it to see if it will be better. So I have a different soaker in mind and a different type of diaper to see how I like it. But I'm just trying out things right now. And my daughter's my guinea pig, so <laughs> but she's it's really good practice and um whatever but this one is a um all-in-one transitional training pants and it has the snaps on this side as well and inside i just have one layer of zorb and remember i told you how tiny she is look at that this is this is such a tiny, <laughs> tiny um, training pants. It's so cute and it's so cute on her. It fits her like a glove. And these are just some of the soakers that I'll be making. This is the snapping one. At the back is the microfiber. And at the top is microfleece. The stay dry microfleece. Because um, you really don't want to put microfiber next to your baby because it'll just irritate their skin and um, this is the Zorb and I have it this is two layers of Zorb and a layer of micro fleece to keep her dry and in the back is just a layer of um, fennel and uh, this is a really I love the Zorb it is so um, absorbent and um, yeah I just use one of these like in the daytime when she's playing and stuff it's just I just use one and it's enough for a few hours for a couple of hours and till I till she has to be changed and it works great I love it and then the other one I, I made I ordered and tried was the bamboo 
and this is six layers of bamboo topped with a stay dry fabric and um, this one is super absorbent too this is really absorbent that's how the bamboo looks and this is really really absorbent too so she usually just use one of these in the daytime too and um, it also um, stays for a few hours a couple hours before I have to change her so yeah that's my update and those are the cloth diapers that I've been making oh and um, SF Helen has requested for me to do a, a tutorial for her and I'm gonna do that I'm just um, I have to make actually make some um, covers or all in two type thing like I showed you for a friend of mine <clears throat> and um, but I have to order the fabric because I'm waiting to order the fabric because um, our Canada Post is on strike and um, I don't want to order them and they get backlog or lost in the mail or something so I'm waiting until the strike is over to to order the fabric and then I can do a tutorial because I actually don't have um, much stuff here because I use most of it for my daughter like I have some fabric left over but I'm out of snaps and um, so I have to order some more so I'm just waiting so I haven't forgotten Helen I'll do your tutorial once I get the fabric in and oh I ordered new pattern too so I'll be trying that out so once I get those in and I can order them I'll make your tutorial and um, yeah thanks for watching that's my update God bless you guys and I'm keep praying for all of you to get your BFPs and um, yeah so blessings to you and thanks again for watching bye